Hi, this is John with Fix It Planet. Today we've got an iPad Pro 9.7 inch. And it has a cracked screen. Everything else on this tablet's working perfectly fine. And it's not banged up too bad. One little corner's got a little bit of um, damage to it, but it's not real super bad. We'll use just a little bit of um, grinding on that corner to just smooth out that little bit. Other than that, it was pretty much in, in uh, perfect condition. So this is going to be a really easy repair. So we put it on a hot plate and get it nice and warm to get started so we can separate the uh, display from the frame and uh, for the most part um, if it's chipped up if it's cracked uh, really bad um, then that will slow you down a little bit but uh, on the edges that don't have any breaks it, it it's pretty quick to just slide your tool through and and cut through the adhesive and once you get near the home button that's where you have to be extremely careful The home button cable is uh, very near the edge of the glass and there's there's not a lot of room to get your tool in there and then of course if the glass is broken anywhere near it uh, you got to be even extra more careful because you don't want a piece of uh, broken glass to uh, cut through the cable you don't want your tool to cut through the cable so that's that's your really the most important part that's the part that you just have to be absolutely extremely careful around so as we're getting nearer and nearer the uh, home button we want to make sure our tool does not go far into the glass so we'll sort of concentrate on all the areas uh, until we're ready to go near the home button. Warm it up a little bit here because this side's the side that's broken really bad. And it cools down really quick. So all the cables for the display are on the bottom right hand side. And um, it's a good idea not to uh, cut through those while the battery is still connected. So you do want to kind of be careful around that as well. Now we're going to warm this up near uh, the side that we uh, need to get to for the home button so that um, that side's cooled down a little bit. I want to make sure it's, it's nice and warm and we're just going to barely put our tool in near this home button. Just going to just barely put it in there until we get past the home button. And then we're going to make sure it's not snagging on any of the adhesive or getting caught on anything. So we'll just kind of want to set, watch what we're doing while we separate that. And then we're coming near the corner that has the cables in it. So we're going to stop short there. And we'll be able to go ahead and pry it up from here. Open it just like a book. Which is actually kind of nice. So 
sort of small piece of broken glass uh, near the home button. Came off on this one. Luckily it didn't uh, cut into our cable. That's the metal bracket goes over our three pop connectors for the display. And we'll also need to take these other screws out as well in order to get access to the battery. The battery connector. Now this shield is actually uh, stuck down not just with the screws but it also has some adhesive underneath so we're gonna warm it up just a little bit um, you can start from here but it's easier to start on this side I think and uh, you can kind of start prying it up and um, you'll want to be careful that you don't um, bend it up too much you don't want to bend it too much out of shape and you don't need to take it all the way off just want to lift it up enough to get access to the battery connector take one screw out and then we'll be able to put a pick in between the battery connector so it's not making contact during the repair now we can safely disconnect our pop connectors for the display cut through the last of the adhesive here and we'll be able to take this off And we'll set the tablet to the side while we get the parts off of the old display that we need to transfer to the new one. So there is a camera bezel. And um, that's what it looks like. We're actually going to put it on the camera and then when we put our adhesive down it will hold it into place. So it'll be right where it needs to be. But we do have to put the home button assembly from here to the new one. And again, this is uh, absolutely critical. You cannot make a mistake here. You make a mistake on this, there's no, no way to solve the problem. Customer will lose security feature and will not be happy. The little connector has a clamp. We just lift the clamp and uh, pull the cable out gently and carefully. And um, we warmed it up a little bit to help assist us in getting it uh, lifted up. It does have adhesive holding it down in place. And it will help us to get the metal bracket off as well. And there's that. Then we can just pry the button up a little bit um, around the edge there and then use our spudger, plastic spudger, to take the button out so we don't scratch it up. Make sure the cables are in good shape and folded properly and kind of inspect it, make sure everything's okay. And that's all there is that we need off of that. We'll take our new display now and get the home button back in, in place. So we're going to start by putting the connector in. The cable will slide into the connector, make sure it's seated all the way. And then we can put the clamp down and smooth the cable out a little bit, press it down. Use the adhesive that came with it, hold it into place. Now we'll just kind of center the home button, make sure it's in the right position. Make sure the cabling is folded properly and seated correctly. 
just like it was on the old screen. Then we can put the metal bracket. We're going to slide that metal bracket underneath the cable on the right side and then stick it down. And we'll just check it, make sure that it's seated flush. It's not crooked, it's not stuck, the button's working. Everything's good. Make sure everything's nice and flat, nice and neat. Put our tape back on the little connector. So once everything's put back into place, this is going to look go right there around that uh, whole little camera window there. And that looks all good. Now we're just going to take off the old adhesive, whatever's left of it, and then we're going to clean up the edges really, really well. Get any excess leftover adhesive off the frame. Clean it up all the way around. Okay, and then we'll be able to put our camera bezel in around the over the camera so it sits exactly where it's supposed to be. And then when we put our adhesive back down, it will hold it into place. Then we'll be able to put our pop connectors for the display in and give it a quick test. Make sure everything's working properly and looks like it should. But before we can do that, we're going to take this pick out of the uh, battery connector and screw it down. I think this is a really easy repair. Changing out the screen on this particular iPad I think is easier than most of the repairs for, for the previous iPads. And everything is testing out well, looks good. So now we'll be able to put our brackets back on over the pop connectors for the display, cables, put our screws in all the way down that side. Making sure that the shielding is laying nice and flat. It kind of reminds me of the iPad mini a little bit with that all those screws that you have to put in there but it's not nearly as bad overall so we're gonna we're just going to stand it up on its side now and we're going to 
be able to get access to this last um, bit of masking on the strip up on this side and we're going to make sure that the cable is is lined up properly so when we go to put it back when we go to put the screen down it should just just go straight back into the frame making sure that it's not pinched anywhere Now I'm just going to warm the edges up a little bit and then we're going to give it a good rub down with the cleaning cloth. We'll do another quick test. So anyway, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it if you like and subscribe. Bye-bye now.